Exactly what are lists? In Excel, a list is defined as a collection of related data records. It's also the way you keep data records when you use Excel more as you would a database. Lists provide a way to juggle different areas of data in the same workbook, and even the same worksheet, without resorting to multiple different workbooks. They provide some other benefits, too. For example, lists allow you to work with the data form tool you saw earlier, where you can enter data for different fields in a record from a special input window to increase your overall accuracy. So, for example, here we go to the data window, select form, and we'd see a basic way that we could create a new record, for example, if we click new, and then just add the information to this list as you see here. You'll also find that there are built-in data integrity verification tools in Excel to help you be sure that your records are entered and maintained properly. Also, you can easily sort as well as filter lists, allowing you to look for particular information or to narrow your scope of view to an analysis of records that fit particular criteria. Example, say you have a data list of 300 customer records, but you need to narrow your look at those who live in a particular city or state. It's also simple to add new records because, if you look at the bottom of an active list in Excel, as you see here, you'll see a row starting with an asterisk that allows you to enter a new record directly. However, you could also use the data form that we showed you before to enter your data, however you want to handle it. Lists are highly visible on a worksheet, too, because of their unique border. See this dark blue border that exists around my list here. You'll also see that at the top, each of the categories for specific field columns are listed up here, and I can click on the down arrows next to each to do sort functions. Finally, you can publish a list you create to a website, either a traditional website on the World Wide Web or one using SharePoint Team Services, one of the collaboration tools supported through Microsoft Office as well as Windows 2003 Server. But I should tell you that there are also a few limitations with list keeping in Excel. For example, you cannot create a list in a workbook that is shared. And we'll discuss what a shared workbook is later. If you have a shared workbook and you want to create a list, you're going to need to unshare or remove sharing from that workbook before you create your list. There are some terms to understand when working with lists as well. For example, a field, such as you see here, a cell, refers to one slice or bit of data, such as a customer's last name, or an employee's last name, or an account number, or a user identity number. When working with a worksheet list, think of each column as providing a field of specific information. A field name, such as you have here, refers to the particular name assigned to a given field. Within an Excel worksheet, the first row in a list provides the name of each field offered in that list, such as description, or last name, or first name, middle initial, or account number, or account balance. Also, a record refers to one complete set of related fields. For example, a complete customer record, specifics on an inventory team, class gradebook roster, or team membership information. And here we have employee information, and each one of these rows represents a complete set of fields that make up a record. And that's true regardless of what type of list you work with. In an Excel worksheet list, each row represents one full record in your data list.